The next set of special tests is going to be for the meniscus injuries. Uh, the first special test is called the McMurray test. For this one we're going to have the patient in a uh, supine position and uh, with a leg extended the athletic trainer is going to stand uh, lateral to the, the injured knee that you're trying to assess. And uh, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be uh, uh, placing one hand on the uh, distal uh, around the midfoot uh, and then the other uh, hand is going to be on the uh, kind of palpating the uh, joint line uh, at the knee joint uh, and then uh, this uh, this test has four different uh, different stresses on the meniscus. Uh, the first one uh, that we're going to be doing, uh, we are going to, uh, with the tibia, uh, we are going to um, internally rotate the tibia um, and apply a, a valgus force stress. And again, we can bring it up into flexion and then down into um, uh, extension. And what we're feeling for all of these different tests is we're feeling for any locking, uh, catching, um, or uh, pain in that, that area, or giving away. Uh, so that's what we can do, uh, of the, and this is for meniscus. Uh, so we can do internal rotation with the valgus stress. We can also do um, external rotation uh, with the valgus stress. Again, you can either go from flexion to extension or extension up to flexion. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so that's with external rotation and internal rotation, the valgus stress. And then we can also do a, um, a varus stress test. Again, uh, externally rotating the tibia. Again, feeling for the same things, applying the varus stress, uh, pushing out uh, either flexion to extension or extension to flexion. And then uh, internally rotate the same thing, the tibia. Again, feeling for any popping, locking, or catching uh, in the meniscus. The next special test that we're going to perform is called the bounce home test. And for this one, we're going to have the patient is going to be a supine well, with the leg in a relaxed position. The uh, athletic trainer is going to be at the distal end of the leg, uh, cupping the patient's uh, heel. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we are going to, uh, uh, with one hand and the other knee is going to support uh, right at the knee. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, passively uh, flex, slightly flex the patient's knee uh, and then allow it to extend. Okay, so flex and then extend slowly. And then what we're looking for this one is they're unable to extend completely or it might feel rubbery uh, at the end uh, or spring back, uh, thus indicating a, a positive meniscal uh, injury. Next special test that we're going to be doing is uh, the Apley's compression test. For this one, the patient is going to be in a uh, prone position on the table. You know, the athletic trainer is going to be uh, on the side of the knee. And uh, so for the first one, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be flexing the knee to uh, 90 degrees. And then what we're going to be doing is we are going to apply uh, axial loading down the, the tibia. Uh, and with that, we are going to uh, externally rotate the tibia and push down, compress. And then we're going to internally rotate and then apply this axial loading. Uh, if either internal or external rotation with the com axial loading uh, causes uh, pain or uh, locking or uh, uh, or the uh, pain in that area, then that would be indication for a meniscal injury. Uh, what we can also do is uh, in the same position at 90 degrees of flexion, and if we kind of stabilize the distal femur and then we apply a distraction. This is an Apley's distraction test. Uh, again, we can do it with uh, external rotation 
or uh, internal rotation. Another method that we can do is we can actually uh, put our thigh over the area, pulling up internal rotation and external rotation of the tibia. This distraction will relieve the pain off the meniscus. The next special test that we're going to be doing is called the medial lateral grind test. And for this one, the patient is going to be in a supine position. The athletic trainer is going to be next to or lateral to the injured knee that you're assessing. And uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be holding the foot in one hand and then we're going to uh, kind of uh, palpate the knee joint um, with the other hand. And what we're going to be doing with this one is uh, we're going to flex, passively flex the patient's hip and knee uh, maximally in this position. And then what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to apply a uh, circular or internal rotation, external rotation of the tibia, uh, both clockwise and counterclockwise, uh, while we're in this position. So the knee is flexed maximally and the uh, hip is flexed uh, maximally. Uh, and what we're looking for is any uh, pain or grinding or clicking for a positive indication for a meniscus injury. The next special test that we're going to be doing is called the Steinman's uh, Tenderness Displacement Test. For this one, then we're going to have the patient is going to be supine with their knee completely extended. Uh, the athletic trainer is going to stand uh, lateral to their leg, uh, again grasping the uh, midfoot as well as uh, palpating the knee joint and uh, what we're going to be doing with this one is we are going to passively move the injured knee into various ranges of flexion uh, uh, followed by a dynamic movement of uh, internal and uh, external rotation. So that was internal so, and this will be external. So, so again we have Oh, so extension, flexion, extension with external rotation, and then we have flexion and extension with internal rotation. And during the external rotation, if it, there's pain or if there lacks full flexion, that could be a positive indication for a meniscal tear. The next special test that we're going to be doing is called the Thessaly test. And for this one, we're going to have the patient uh, stand and uh, have them uh, flat footed on the involved leg. Um, we're going to ask them to, uh, and then the athletic trainer is going to uh, stand, uh, stand in front of them or kind of to the, or to the side. And what we're going to do is we're going to ask them to uh, flex the opposite. Uh, flex, flex the opposite knee to about 45 degrees and um, while we're helping support them we're going to ask the patient to then uh, flex the knee uh, to uh, 15 degrees that they're standing on and then we're going to ask them to uh, rotate their body or their tibia uh, or femur we're going to ask them to uh, internally rotate it and then externally rotate it, uh, the tibia. We'll try it both ways while they're flexed uh, 15 degrees, knee flexion. And then they're going to repeat this three times. Uh, and then we can also ask them to do this, uh, flex the, ask the patient to flex their knee to 30 degrees. And then again, we're going to have them uh, internally rotate and externally rotate the body. And again, repeat that three times. And then compare those. And what we're uh, looking for is the positive sign would be uh, there's pain in the joint line, uh, locking uh, or giving away, uh, catching, uh, any, any other signs for a meniscal tear.